This is a strange one. Unless, of course, you live in Singapore, because that's apparently where it derives from. This is a vehicle sign that you stick in the inside of your windscreen, and when you turn it on, it lights up bright green and says, Grab. And it does appear to be associated with a Singaporean food company, so I'm not sure why it was being sold in the UK eBay. But it was, and I bought one, because I wanted to see how they laid the circuit board out. So I'll turn the light off, so you can actually see this in full intensity. One moment, please. Yeah, now that is very bright, I have to say. Almost glaringly bright. I suppose it's going through the windscreen, so it's not really going to dazzle the driver much. But um, I get the feeling you don't really need this little LED indicator in the, the button, because uh, the thing is bright enough that you'll know when it's on. OK, I'm going to bring the light back, and then we'll explore the circuitry. The circuitry is very simple. In the same way that LED tape typically has three LEDs and a resistor per section, that's what they've done here. They've put the surface mount resistors on with a pile of resistors at the side and then the tracks are as follows. They have a common positive track that goes underneath the bottom of the word and it goes up to the start of each set of three LEDs. The negative appears to be the ground plane of the printed circuit board and the resistors just tap onto that ground plane, except this for some odd reason. I mean, the ground plane continues in there, but for some reason they actually ran a specific track for it. But that then goes to the other end of the LEDs, and then the orange indicates the interconnecting bit. So in this particular instance, they have exactly three multiples each time, and it literally is just the 12 volt supply, three LEDs, a resistor, a 120 ohm resistor, and then going down to the zero volt or the ground um, just as the sort of like the to complete the circuit. Very straightforward. There's a few places they've had to get devious with the tracks, particularly I think this is one of the most complex ones going back from the bottom here, or where they've looped across from this LED over to the little uh, stack of two LEDs over there. Uh, it's neat enough, it certainly does the job. Uh, the resistors are 120 ohms. I took some calculations for the current. Uh, where, well, I've got a wee note of that. Um, 10 volts showed 80 milliamps. 11 volts showed 130 milliamps. That's the whole sign. And there are, uh, how many sections are there here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 sections of three LEDs. So, uh, 10 volts, 80 milliamps, 11 volts, 130 milliamps, 12 volts is a base voltage of a vehicle battery, 173 milliamp, but the charging voltage, 13 volts, 225 milliamps, and right at the top, the sort of maximum charge voltage of the battery of rough, roughly 14 volts, it's 278 milliamps. And if you work that out on the kink calculator, so that's uh, 13 circuits at 278 milliamps, so 278 milliamps, divided by the 13 circuits equals 21 milliamps. So they've basically optimised it for the maximum desirable current. Uh, on the LED tape, they typically have used 150 ohm resistors, but in this instance, they're pushing it just a little bit hard because I'd guess while the vehicles are active, the voltage of the battery is going to be pretty up much at 14 volts. But that's it. It's an interesting idea, and it does suggest that if you wanted to make a standard sort of signage thing yourself, then you could do the same thing. It's also interesting to know, apart from the slightly crappy uh, screen print here, it's worth mentioning that you can actually see the segment. So the actual outline of this is tracks. They've just laid it out as a circuit board. But it's pretty neat. The other the back of it is just cheap material. Um, it's just that sort of SRBP, synthetic resin bonded paper, with the two thin wires going through it. Oh, let's check if there's a... Let's check if there is a fuse in here. There should be a fuse. There usually is. There is a fuse. What is the fuse rated at? 3 amp, which is more than ample. I do kind of get the urge to open this now. Should I open it? Yes, I should. Let's zoom down in this and we'll open it up. Uh, screwdriver. That's the wrong type of screwdriver. Find the right screwdriver. Can I find the right screwdriver? Oh, that's definitely a wrong screwdriver. Uh, hold on. There it is. Not going to be anything special in here. It's just going to be probably the LED a resistor and the little switch on a circuit board or not. A little circuit board. So there it is. There's the LED, a little click on, click off switch. 
a little rectangular LED, which is odd, and then a resistor tucked at the side. Uh, what value is the resistor? Orange, orange, red. So quite a high value of 3.3k. But there we go. That is the grab sign. Should you desire one for some inexplicable reason as an ornament in your home?